Today we're going to be installing this 32 inch Slimro LED bar on this 2015 Toyota Tundra. The goal of this is to <clears throat> put this LED bar behind this bumper so it creates a hidden bumper and we're going to do that with the Rego Fabrication hidden bumper LED brackets for the uh, 2015 Toyota Tundra. So to do that we're going to need a 14 millimeter inch. Uh, 10 millimeter uh, quarter inch drive socket, uh, 12 millimeter quarter inch drive socket, a pocket screwdriver, a small screwdriver, and a 45 or 90 degree angle pliers. So we're going to take this pocket screwdriver, there's a clip here, squeeze it underneath here, and just twist, it'll pop out. And we're going to pull it out. Next, we're going to take our 10 millimeter ratchet and undo these screws here. And put them in a safe spot. Next, we're going to climb under the bumper. And we have two. 12 millimeter bolts. We're going to go and take those out. They're a little tight, so put some elbow grease into it. Next, after they're done, we're going to take out the bolts that should be here. In this case, they're zip tied, so I'm just going to cut those. And there's three of them in the center holding the bottom of that plastic piece over there. And then we're going to move on to the next step. So after all those are taken out, what we're going to do is just pull this towards you a little. And you can see these clips moving here. And all I do is shimmy that out. What you can also do is take your pocket screwdriver and slowly pry on that. Don't force it or they'll break. And then the plastic piece will come out. On this model Tundra, there's a parking sensor on both sides of the bumper. There's a plastic, a white plastic clip in here. And all you have to do is pull on that and slide it out. This is what it looks like. Just go ahead and set that aside. And what we're gonna do is just push the sensor through to the front of the bumper. It'll expose the clip. So once you can see the clip, we're gonna undo the clip from here and it will come right out. Next step is to unscrew these three bolts holding the bumper on to the frame and there's one bolt on the other side of this bar that you're going to unscrew. What you want to do is take these completely off and unscrew the other one three quarters of the way and then get a friend to help you take the bumper off and remove the rest of the bolts. We do this so the bumper doesn't fall on you while you're trying to unscrew it. So let's go ahead and do that. What I want to do before we take off the bumper is uh, disconnect your the fog light connector. Just push down on this and wiggle a little. And the 45 or 90 degree pliers are for this. All you have to do is get behind it here and squeeze it and wiggle it out a little. It'll be hard to see while I do that. The camera the squeeze and pop out what you're doing is you're squeezing these clips together and it's recommended not to pull or those will break and it won't want to go back in so let's screw our our bolts and if you can look down here all the bolts are taken out and then this is a hand tight so I'm gonna leave that there just putting a couple threads and one on the other side so I can wiggle the bumper and break it loose from where it's at. This will prevent the bumper from falling off and then you can go ahead and get a friend. They'll unscrew that and you can take off the bumper together so we can move on to the next step. We're just going to have a friend and wiggle off the bumper and make sure all the wires are clear and everything's good. So. 
Today we're going to install this 5D LED by Freedom LED Bars and these Toyota Tundra hidden bumper brackets by Rego Fabrication. And <clears throat> this step is needed so you pre-install it before you install on the bumper. The R goes on the driver's side and the one without the R goes on the passenger side. Now we want the wiring to go on the driver's side. So <clears throat> we are going to flip this over and attach this light to this bracket before we put it on. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So we have the bumper off and what we do is we install this bracket on one side and then we'll slip it in this position and then you'll come from over here and install this screw. It's not hard but it's a <clears throat> it could be a pain in the butt if you're not patient. So we want to line up this bar so it's pointing in the desired direction because we're going to install the bumper back just like this and don't worry about the height because these brackets have height adjustment so when you're about to tighten the bumper down where it's supposed to be you can push from the bottom side on these brackets and get it centered into where the slot is so that's what we're going to do next so our goal is to get this top bolt in first and the bolt's going to go through here and then through our bracket. Make sure this is underneath where it's supposed to go. And <clears throat> what you can do is just swing your hand in from underneath. Make sure your wires aren't binding, binding up. And go ahead and slide it in that top bolt. Come towards me a little. Okay, we got one side in. What you can do is hold this side so your buddy can go underneath and look at that. You can if you see underneath. There you go. And then get your nut and hand tight the top so the bumper doesn't fall out. 